안녕하세요. 오늘은 수성기술과 신재생에너지, 수성기술에 관련된 내용 살펴보도록 하겠습니다. 지금까지 우리는 육상, 해상, 우주항공 수성기술에 관련된 다양한 내용을 살펴봤습니다. 오늘은 선생님이 준비한 동영상은 도시교통의 미래에 관련된 동영상을 준비했어요. 이 동영상은 영어로 된 동영상입니다. 그래서 사실은 좀 어려울 수도 있겠다는 생각도 들어요. 하지만 영어를 다 인지하지 못하더라도 그림을 통해서 어떤 내용을 이야기하고자 하는지 알수 있을 겁니다. 모든 별로 수성기술의 발달이 우리 생활 양식에 끼친 긍정적인 사례와 부정적인 사례에 대해서 토의해 보시고 부정적인 사례에 대해서 앞으로 개선하거나 해결하기 위한 방안에 대해서 한번 정리해 주시면 좋겠습니다. 수업 시간에 뵙겠습니다. By the year 2030, 60% of the world's population will live in urban areas. There are already around 1.2 billion passenger vehicles on the road today. By 2030, this figure is projected to reach 1.6 billion. As cities continue to grow, the sustainable transportation of people and goods will become ever more important and complex. For many of today's city dwellers, Mobility means stress, congestion, and delays. Getting around can also be unhealthy and even unsafe. If nothing changes, these problems will only get worse. This is why we urgently need to address the social, environmental, and economic challenges facing urban mobility. Our challenge is to upgrade our infrastructure to enable greater choice for those who need to get to their destination quickly reliably and cheaply. To do this, we must integrate many different modes of mobility to create a more flexible and seamless user experience. So, what could this future of urban mobility look like? Meet the Osorio family. Joao, Flavia, Eduardo and their dog Pele live on the outskirts of Rio. Their neighborhood is a dedicated auto-free zone. Bike lanes and wide tree-lined pavements make walking and cycling safe and convenient. Public transport is cheap, dependable, comfortable and safe. The Osorio family uses their neighborhood's integrated mobility service, which provides access to a variety of private transport options, including citywide e-scooters, bicycles and a car-sharing program. Flavia works in an office across town, she loves Rio's new dedicated bicycle and scooter highways, which have automated driving lanes, charging points, and convenient parking for her electric moped. She uses the dashboard on her scooter to choose the route with the cleanest air and least congestion. Eduardo likes to walk to his new school. His ambient glasses map his location as he walks, helping him find his way and providing information about his surroundings. This morning, Eduardo is learning about the different bird species that live in his neighborhood. Joao is a postman who spends most of his time at the local logistics center. He loves the neighborhood's new consolidation scheme, where all mail and household deliveries get pulled, unpacked, and sent straight to each home through pneumatic tubes. To get around, Joao either walks or uses the metro system, planning in advance to board trains with the lowest fares and most empty seats. On the weekend, the family uses the local car-sharing hub to escape the city, taking Peli out for walks and visiting their extended family. This is just one scenario for what the future of urban mobility could look like encompassing vehicle sharing and smart traffic management and placing a greater focus on walking, cycling and micromobility. Across the world, we want to design solutions for cleaner, healthier and more livable cities. Join the conversation at www.arup.com and tell us what you can imagine. Arup, we shape a better world.